Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Prime Minister Andrew Holness's cabinet reshuffle, which retains Dr. Horace Chang as National Security Minister amid surging murders, has been labelled an effort to boost his public relations more than responding to public pressure. Commentator Lloyd B. Smith says the changes show preparation for local government elections due in February. Among the major changes are Robert Montague losing the transport and mining portfolio. Robert Morgan has become a full minister. Marlene Malahu Fort has been replaced as Attorney General. And Matthew Samuda has been transferred from the Security Ministry to the Economic Growth and Job Creation Ministry that is headed by the Prime Minister. And Floyd Green has returned to the Cabinet as Minister in Charge of the National Identification System, NIDS. The Jamaica Accountability Meter portal says that was a reasonable decision given how the MP handled the surfacing of a video last September that showed him celebrating at a birthday party on a COVID no-movement day. Meanwhile, the opposition PNP has criticised the Cabinet changes, claiming the government is just paying more money to people for doing nothing. And the opposition leader, Mark Golding, says the appointment of a person not sitting in Parliament as the Attorney General is not good enough. He says as a result, the new AG, Dr. Derek McCoy, will not be held accountable. Three men were shot and killed in Providence Heights and James on Monday night after travelling together in a car from Kingston. It's reported that the men met with another group of men who were travelling in another motor car and several minutes later residents heard gunshots coming from the direction of the parked vehicle. In sports, the global track and field community is in mourning after Trinidad and Tobago's Olympian Dion Lendor was killed in a car crash in Texas, USA on Monday. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.13. The British pound sterling for $211.56 and the Canadian dollar for $123.04. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers across southern parishes and hilly areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.